Uh, solving problems uh, in the society. And uh, finally, the recent uh, bill that was signed into act, which is the student loan scheme. It's a tremendous achievement, and we are believing that with this kind of achievement, that the government has chosen the part of prioritizing the welfare of Nigerian students. The onus is on us, and the mandate is on us to assume leadership by prioritizing our endeavors and making sure that people understand that there is no division, there is no ethnicity in treating Nigeria. There is no Nigerian that is more Nigerian than any other Nigerian. So we are all one, and there is need for us to treat each and every person as one brother. Yes. Recently, we had a case of a 19-year-old girl who classified at Jam Resort. Cool. So basically, it has to be, uh, you know, some sort of a proactive steps that the government will take. And also parents should make sure that they get the right quality education by making sure government does what it does. And then you teach your children proper homework and you work with them to improve their education. It is a collective thing, but education is very, very expensive. So um, that is basically, you know, my, my, my thought process is where education is concerned. I still left behind, then development will be difficult because everybody needs to participate in policy make and decision making processes. So we need to educate. Uh, our, our population is growing at an exponential, exponential rate, which is a security threat to a very large nation like ours because a good percentage of the youth of this country are unemployed, which portends serious danger. But if we begin to engage ourselves outside formal work, because the formal job cannot accommodate all of us, if we continue to engage ourselves, you know, uh, we'll bridge this illiteracy gap and also uh, gamefully and meaningfully engage ourselves to reduce the level of unemployed youth in the society. And that will greatly reduce crime and also, if you see, most of the people who are in the forefront uh, participating in the act of insurgency and insurrections, all these groups we hear in the country are youth and students. Uh, they are willing tools in the hands of these uh, mischief makers and uh, those who are sabotaging the efforts of Nigerians for peace and stability. So, uh, like it's popularly said and known, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. So we have to engage our youth. So the students actually have a very big role to play in nation building. And these are the areas. Thank you.